Hey, this is Green Gip. Welcome to another guided playthrough where I explain every decision I'm making and the why and how and what's going through this noggin of mine. Let's get into the game. Alright. Not great here. However, the beaver can make other things better. So I think we'll start with buying the beaver. With the intention of selling at some point and then rolling plus two two is not the worst body in the world so give a roll mm. right, at this point we're just taking the best bodies we see so beaver beaver and go making a tier two beaver or a level two beaver isn't the end of the world either we just trade out here. That's fine. Because we can use Beaver to go to level 2. um, Or to tier up next round. That's fine. Because we could sell the Beaver. And I'm pretty sure it gives 2-2. Uh, two, two. So. I think here we just buy the Otter. Let it hit somebody. We'd prefer it hit Mosquito, but if it hits the beaver, maybe we don't sell beaver and we just go big beaver. But uh, we'll freeze this, buy this, hit the Mosquito, please. Dang. Hit the beaver. And here we just buy the good-bodied fish. And I think we're going to go big beaver. Um, focusing on a single unit is not a bad thing to do. And since the beaver seems to be what we got the most of, we'll just focus on it for now. We'll pivot if we have to, but I don't see a better option at the moment. And it got us a win, so we'll, we'll, we'll just take that and sli silently walk away. Um, we can freeze a pill and roll. Otter? Alright, so I think if we're going to build Big Beaver, we build Big Beaver. So, let's... We're going to build Big Beaver. Um, I think it's very important to actually focus your stats. So what we're going to do is sell our Mosquito and sell our Fish to guarantee this goes on Beaver. Bit the ant and we'll pill the ant. Okay, hitting the otter's fine. You know, we're still focusing the stats on two units. Give a roll and. I mean, in this point, shrimp is actually better. So we'll take the shrimp. Oh, one health. That's so brutal. So brutal. Okay, so. Make our beaver bigger. Here's the thing about camel. It looks great. The problem is... It's hard to get them going. Like, it's just hard to get a camel going. I would say... For every 10 camel runs I try, only 2 or 3 of them are actually successful. So it's a very not... It's a unit... It's like fool's gold. It looks so much better than it is. Um, so I think we're just going to skip our camel here. Um, this we're just going to buy sell. Like, it's an extra health somewhere. I'll take it for 1 gold. Seems like a decent purchase. Not really a fan of any of this. I guess we'll freeze a cupcake. And then we'll unfreeze, freeze. I'd rather have the permanent 1-1 one, one rather than the 3-3 three, three for a battle. And I would rather just have that.
Um, it's probably equal whether we win, draw, or lose here. And we lose. Boo. But losing early is not the end of the world, so... Okay. We get a pretty quick kangaroo. So I think we'll play that. Don't really want any of this. Um... I think it's time to get rid of Otter. We're gonna freeze the beaver. There we go. So we're gonna pill here. I'm freezing the beaver because I think it's actually gonna be more worthwhile for us to buy sell this beaver and give one one health. Cause all right, if I buy the beaver and stick it on beaver, he gets 1-1. One, one. That's nice, but if I buy sell, I get 3 health. One of the health comes from him, and it's guaranteed on these two. The other health, 2 health code for this guy. So there's a very good chance he's going to get 2 health, which is way better than getting 1-1. One, one. So I'm going to buy sell, plus it'll give me an extra roll. It missed him, but he still gets the health. And this guy got a health, which is fine, too. Um, then we get a roll. Didn't hit anything there. And we're very mediocre right now. There's a good chance we lose here, too, but it is what it is. Um, I think we're good. We're good. That kangaroo got a little work done. All right. We really need a garlic, or else we're in trouble. And I think we'll grab a swan for some extra gold. Do I go double swan? We'll freeze him. Garlic's good. And... I think now we sell for the swan. We just need the gold. Next round is important. Um, we're going to need to hit some scaling. So, probably need a penguin. Needs Oh, we survived this barely? Oh, we died. I thought we were going to draw. Boo. Alright, now we're on lethal. That's not... Well, hold on. Let's can here. Let's swan. And then let's go for a monkey. Not a monkey, but a cow is great. The reason we uh, combined here is we're not in a good spot right now. We're on lethal. I have a very small frontline unit. So I basically needed to hit a Hail Mary in order for this run to take off. Um, cow is... Not quite a Hail Mary, but it's a triple. Like, it's a good start. Um, monkey would have been good. Getting a monkey right now is pretty huge. So, But that's not bad. We've 10-11 with a kangaroo behind. Can get some work done. So we just gotta hope we can... Uh, hope we can punch our way out of this at this point. And we punched our way out of that one. I'll take it. Alright, with the cow changes, cow is actually not terrible. So we're just going to hold on to him for right now, unless I need the gold. Don't want any of this, so we'll roll. Nope. Alright, this is it. We're going to take the penguin. We're going to garlic, and then we're going to tutu buff. And then we're going to roll. Now, we're more, we'll, we'll see another pair. They're pretty common. But uh, we really need to get him to level 2. 1, so the penguins can start buffing him. 2, so he can start getting 4-4 four, four when he attacks. So, I'd much rather 
have higher chances at getting a chocolate next round. So I think we're going to win here, though. I think we're good. That garlic armor putting in the work, getting us a win. Thank you. All right. That's not bad. We'll take the cow. We'll take the penguin. And we'll take another penguin. All right. Uh, I know I didn't speak through this turn. It pretty. I mean, when the cow upgrades, it, instead of one plus one plus two, it becomes plus two plus four. So super good if you get tier two cow, obviously. And then penguin. I mean, it's scaling for us, so why not? Uh, pretty straightforward turn. Not much to explain here. Monkey. All right. At this point, um, we do, we're in dire need of like large scaling, so this is where we're going to get rid of the swan for two gold. The gold going forward would be helpful, but we're on lethal, so we need to win now. Um, so we'll sell this, throw a monkey in there. And now he's going to be getting 5-5 five, five around. That's not bad. That's not bad. 2026 is very mediocre for this round, though. So, But it's going to get the job done here. That cow. Cow put in some work. Honestly, this cow has been the MVP of the run. Like... The beaver obviously is up front doing the work, but he getting him on that level up, that's what that's what clutched it. So we really want to see a roux or chocolate. There we go. That's a big deal. Something good? Anything good? We'll freeze this. And yeah. A level 3 kangaroo is not the worst thing in the world. Especially when you don't have the best scaling. Because he's going to need to kind of scale for himself. So, clearly, if we run into... If we run into the uh, scorpion, we're just done. But that can't be helped at this point. We'll take 6 wins. I'm tempted to buy the pair, but I don't think we will. I've had very poor luck whenever I go for level 3 uh, penguins, so I I just don't think it's efficient. This is efficient, though. Leopard's an interesting choice. If we go leopard, we would be ditching the cow for it and the only reason i'm really considering doing it is we got two so we'd be one away from um tier twoing and getting scaling from the penguin so i think we will because our front liner is actually scaling fairly okay by himself wow that's insane okay so as long as we survive here, we're actually in pretty good shape going forward. We just win this. That, 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 that ain't nothing. Awesome. So let's get our leopard up. And then let's get him to level 3. 50% attack damage to 2. I guess we're freezing and going for level 3 Leopard? I guess that's a thing we're going to do here. Give a roll. Monkey seems good. I think we get rid of this. Because uh, if we can hit a chocolate, I value that much more than um, garlicking our Leopard at the moment. Because getting him to level 2 is a big deal. Because 3541 is not the biggest up front. We're going to have trouble here. Eh, 
Ah, uh, maybe this kangaroo's just gonna eat him. Kangaroo ate him. Thank you. But, like, we got to our last two units, so, yeah, we had a little trouble there. I think I'm actually gonna roll for this. I think that's the more important thing right now. Alright, we'll grab it. I gave us a good chance at that. We didn't get it. That's fine. We'll just get the leopard. Oh, we're short. Oh, hit this guy. Hit him. Hit him. Man. Oh, leopard got it. Coming in clutch. All right. Just one more. One more. That's it. Just one more win. Um, Give a roll. Definitely want that. We're going to melon armor here. No. No. Yes. So at this point, the game plan going forward is we win this round or we lose. That determines the run. If we draw... We're going to be moving him from the back line because he'll get 50-50. We're going to put him on the front line and let him start getting his buffs. So that's what this is going to do. But uh, this is this decides the run here. So hopefully we just get our 10 wins and call it a day. All right, we do trade here. And that's called victory. Cool. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a good day. I'm Green Gib.